Hey everybody, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about Mech versus Protoss. And uh, Mech is kind of the like redheaded stepchild of compositions that you could do versus Protoss. But let me get on my camera. But if you really want to play Mech, I think this is a great build to try. Um, it feels very like standard to me like if, if mech was a thing this feels like this would be the way to do it and I copied this build from special and I have a lot of trust in special and his builds I think special is a lot like Gumiho in some ways where he does these fun inventive sort of builds he plays a lot of mech so I, I definitely enjoy watching special play so this build is a 16 rack 16 gas I like to do an 18 scout versus Protoss. Uh, it just lets you see everything you need to see in order to react in time to it. Without hurting your economy as well. Too, too badly. You thermal suggested as well, so I just, I just always do it. Anyways, enough about that. Um, I should mention though that if you get there and you scout that the opponent's on one base, or, you know, some sort of really fast cheese is coming. Just forget about doing this build, okay? Just play standard. <laughs> play safe. Uh, don't play mech. It's just too hard to come back into the game after a cheese. And try and go mech versus Protoss. Um, so, Reaper Fast Expand. As soon as you get that command center, go ahead and get a depot. Command center upgrade complete. After the Reaper, get a Reactor. And this is because, um, I followed up with a Refinery, this is because <laughs> I think Special likes to, from what I could tell why he did this in this particular replay, um, is because you, you have more units when you go Reactor first, versus going Reaper Marine Reactor, and that helps you deal with the you know, cyber first stuff that comes across the map. Um, so that factor came down right around 220-ish. Start up your marine production. Okay, so as soon as that factory finishes, we're going to get a starport, of course, start up a Hellion. Keep making Marines. Command center upgrade complete. Right around now as well, you're going to want to get your first depot. Well, technically your third depot. As soon as that Hellion's done, start up a deck lab. Like some of my other builds in the past, um, we get this Reaper and Hellion to have some scouting. It really is the best scout um, scouting tool that you have versus Protoss when you compare when you pair the Reaper and Hellion together. They're just able to dive in and uh, get the information that you need. Okay, so add-on swap, make a Raven in a tech lab, follow it up with a command sensor. Right about now. As soon as that factory is done making its tech lab, we're going to make a siege tank. Keep making depots. Siege tank starts. And right after that, you're going to want to get your gases. So that's the link that you can put together is, you know, after you start your first tank, get your gases. Or you can remember that it's around 425. So after the Raven, this is where the build gets fun. Um, we're going to start Banshees and Cloak. 
The reason we make that raven is so we can deny scouting. You really do not want Protoss to know that you're going mech, so denying observers and such is kind of key with this build. And from here, we're just kind of waiting until we have 200 minerals, or sorry, 200 gas, so we can start up some factories. Those come down right around 520-ish. So you have some options, like you could go on the map with your Banshee, if you're like a micro-focused person. Or you can kind of keep them at home and help you defend. Because really, the reason we're getting banshees isn't to just harass in the early game. We're wanting to get, we're wanting to make speed banshees, right? So you need a large amount of banshees, and in order for that to happen, you need to not lose your banshees. Um, plus, sometimes taking your third is hard if you're going mech. In fact, I'd say it's the hardest part of going mech versus Protoss is not dying when you take your third. So sometimes you just need that extra unit to help you hold. You want to wall off um, at the front. Do your add-on swaps. You can even put the barracks in the wall just to help you wall off quicker. If you noticed, uh, like as I went to land my third, I got my gases. You just want your gases up and running as quick as possible. You can see that we have a big marine count. This is going to help if they do attack into us. However, the later the game goes, the more wasted supply the marines become. Okay, so after you have Cloak, you're going to want to start up your Banshee speed. And if you're floating minerals, just throw down turrets. It's mech, you're just going to float minerals. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing, you know, anything wrong. As long as you're constantly producing. And get your gases on time. Um, I should also mention around like before seven minutes right around seven minutes is when you want your armories We're only gonna have time to get a 1-1 before we go push and max out um, It's just really hard to get 2-2 in the matchup Just because of how safe you have to play And also the speed matches are a huge soak up of our income Like getting ravens and speed banshees is so much gas but you need the Banshees to help add a bit of complexity to your army and help you keep Protoss at home. Between 7.30 and 8 minutes, get your 4th command sensor. Start a blue flame as soon as you can. This is because um, if Protoss attacks into us while we're at our 3rd, and we don't have blue flame hellbats. It's sometimes hard to hold versus the charge lots, but blue flame hellbats do a lot versus them. So just make sure that you do not forget that upgrade. So you have a couple choices here with transition. You can either get three more factories for a total of eight, or you can go for two more starports and a fusion core and eventually make a battle cruiser transition. I kind of like the eight factory transition more. But if I've been, like, attacked all game long and I'm not going to have a crisp 1-1 one, one timing, like things have just been thrown off for me, then I might just turtle the battlecruiser. Also, when you have about, like, 10 to 12 siege tanks, you can just stop making tanks and go into cyclones. And uh, how heavy you go into cyclones kind of depends on what you scout. Your speed batches are going to be good scouting. You can always drop a scan in their main to see what's going on. If they're making a Stargate transition, that's something you really want to be careful of, um, is Stargate. Because if you don't have enough anti-air, you just kind of lose your whole army. Mineral field depleted. But you can see it's 930, Mineral or close to 930. Down. We're almost maxed. You'd want to leave your base and uh, go for your timing, your 1-1 timing. And uh, to be honest, I, I don't have any great late game recommendations because there just isn't enough games of professional Terrans playing Mech versus Protoss for me to suggest something. Um, 
So that's something you guys are going to have to figure out in your own a bit. However, I do opt to get two more star ports and a fusion core. So that leaves our production at 183. Starting P22 right after you won one. I think I could have left a little bit earlier. I think we were so close to being max at 9.30 that leaving just around that time would have been fine. So try and be really crisp with your move out because it's the difference of them having a couple more warp ins or not. If you're floating money, just always throw down more command centers, more turrets. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the build. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, um, please let me know. Also, huge shout out to Matchstick for all his help with production. He's done a lot to improve the quality of the stream, and I hope you guys appreciate it as well. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Have a good one.